So if you are scared of getting married, then you need to watch this video because this is one of the so many reasons so many people are afraid today to get married. So I've discovered that um, because of how bad news flies so much, it's easier for people to broadcast the breakups, the toxicity going into their marriage, going, going on in their marriage and the rest. And when you eventually see happy couples actually post about happy marriages, healthy relationship and stuff like that. People are always coming up with this idea of stop posting your relationship online, stop posting your relationship on social media. They will break it, take it offline. See, I understand where you guys are coming from, but then the issue is that the more people who are healthy actually take their relationship offline, the more you find it difficult to find those right marriages that you need to follow. Because the thing is that because of the bad news, people sharing their partner cheating stuff like that you are always feeding yourself with this information you read this news you read these stories and they tend to start affecting you as a person myself too like uh, there was a time i had to like just go to tiktok because i was trying to find out i wanted to do this type of video reaction videos of toxic relationship advice and i discovered that after some time it felt like i became more scared about the whole relationship thing or the whole marriage thing like why are people this toxic? Are there really nice people here? Like, I, is everybody now becoming toxic or something like that? It affected me in a way because I fed more on what was going wrong and I didn't balance it out with the things that are actually good about relationship. Like, I didn't balance it out with couples who are actually happy in their relationship and that ended up almost affecting me as a person, even as a relationship coach. So, I don't, so you can even imagine it when you now compares to somebody who has no solid knowledge about relationship and how you should go about doing them getting this information and feeding them and allowing them sink into their head so when you see happy couples posting their relationships online don't tell them to take it offline you should be praying for them that nothing goes wrong because the more you see those happy couples the more it encourages uh, encourages you as a person to actually uh, aspire to have that kind of marriage and that relationship but if you go about telling them Take it off social media, take it off social media. The bad news we keep spreading, the bad ones we keep spreading. And the more the bad ones spread, the more you are afraid, the more you are scared, the more you are you don't know if you should believe that they are good people anymore or you start thinking like everybody is bad, everybody is toxic and stuff like that. But then if you allow yourself to feed those good ones, those ones, allow them, promote them, share them. Don't share because I, 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 I still don't understand how we tend to like to share bad news. Like somebody is doing something good, doing so many amazing things, but we never really get to talk about it. But the moment we hear that this person has done this thing and that is wrong, you start sharing it all over. Everybody is sharing it, and before you know it, it goes so viral. And it seems like the person is devil or the person is evil or something like that. No, but when this person has been doing so many right things, they have been doing so many good things, but then we don't really spread that news, we don't really share it. Somehow, somehow we are all victims of it and we are all like enablers. Maybe you did it unconsciously or stuff like that. I'm not blaming anybody, I'm not trying to call anybody out. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes you become more scared. The point of this video is that you become more scared of marriage if you listen to more stories about marital failures if you're always listening to he cheated on me she cheated on me the he duped me stuff like that therefore all these people who come into social media to just exchange words and you are calling it season one season two season three and all those stuff you are enjoying it but then you never know what these things are doing to you they are making a part some part of you scared of actually getting into this relation and so many people are scared now because they don't even, that's why people some people say ah if this person and this person broke up that means ah marriage is nothing again no but the truth is that if you actually try and cover time, look for couples who are happy, couples who are having healthy relationship, sharing these fun things about marriage and relationship. If you watch those people, it will encourage you. As long as you keep feeding negative energy into your heart and into your mind, into your spirit, into your soul, you always that negative energies will always affect you. But if you go ahead to seek out positive energy, things that are working, things that are people that are enjoying it, it will start affecting, influencing you too, and you start seeing positively. So we should try as much as possible. Not not just to focus on the negative part you know it's good to listen to those things that are not working so that you know the mistakes they made to avoid making it in your own relationship but at the same time don't consume more of that more than you consume of healthy relationship if you know any healthy relationship coach online go and follow them follow what they are teaching 
so that you have a source where you are drawing in things that are working, things that are going to help you to build your own healthy relationship and marriage and not just focus on those bad news spread on different blogs that you take in and you see it as gist, not knowing that it's building up something in you which you're not aware of until you start seeing yourself being afraid of going into relationships. Somebody is approaching you, you are going into the relationship believing that this person will cheat. You are waiting for them to cheat. Like you're not even enjoying the relationship. The guy is good. The lady is good. They are giving you their best. But because of this mental, um, this thing psychological thing that is now happening to you because the bad information you have gotten over the years now you don't trust anybody you go into a relationship waiting for your partner to actually cheat on you or waiting for your partner to actually do stuff some of you even go to the extent of trying to set them up to see if they will fall how will you do that how do you how do you plan to do that and don't expect the person to fall or something like that so you don't use your own hands to destroy something that is good that because this 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 what happened is as a result of the whole feeding of wrong information that people tend to now go in and then they start expecting the worst it's a lot of enjoying what they had at the moment so don't allow yourself to be in that position do well to go out there look for people who are teaching healthy relationship and, and tips how to build healthy relationship and follow them learn from them so that when you finally get your own partner you start applying those things you have learned and your relationship will work out fine you don't have to struggle in your relationship as long as you know this thing i hope that after you listen this, to this video that you end up at least leaving most of those platforms that feed you negatively about relationship and marriages and then look for those ones that will help you to grow and become a better person. I believe you have learned from this video. Do well to share with somebody. Subscribe, follow and also like this video. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time.